Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is the one right here, and today I am doing another mod review. Today's mod is the Flans Planes mod slash car slash weapons mod. You can just call this the Flans World War Two mod. Um, before I start, I just want to say this is the most um, longest slash hardest uh, mod I've ever tried to install. As you can see, these are all the packages it took, and a couple more are in my documents as well. Um, so yeah, this is a big mod, uh, but it is really worth it. So let's jump right into it. So yeah, this is me. Right, so um, here I've set up a bunch of courses to show you what this is all about. So yes, let's get started with this chest. This is the closed chest. Um, this mod gives you a whole bunch of new selections of clothes, five pairs in total plus the pair I'm wearing now. It acts just like armor, but uh, not that protective. It is basically leather armor decorated. Um, yes, and the only thing that comes really with the uh, clothes is this here new block, the flag. To access this, by the way, it just switches through here to get it. So, um, yep, the flag and a couple of these spawners but we don't need the spawners in. The flag really just, um, you right click the ground and it is what it is, it's a flag. So you can build um, courses and invade each other bases, have the flags, capture the flags, stuff like that. So yes, that's the clues. Um, next is the vehicles. Actually, I'll come to the vehicles after. Uh, so uh, this is the guns. As you can see, there's loads of guns slash bombs and all the ammo for and there's even knives and crossbows and something i forgot to add binoculars if you uh left click you can uh use binoculars which is really cool and just right click again and it comes away so um yep this is uh some of the uh crafting recipes the crafting tables to craft these guns because I'm not that sure, I don't think you craft it in the proper crafting tables. But here we have the American ones, the British ones, the German guns, oops, uh, the Japanese guns, and the Russian guns. And as you can see in each one, it tells you how to craft them and how to craft the ammo. For example, to uh, craft this gun, the Lee Enfield gun, you need 8 iron and 15 tree chunk. This is still in testing, I think, um, so that's why the crafting recipe isn't that as good, and the ammo is just crafted with 2 gunpowder and 5 iron. So you get the idea, it's the same for all of them, there's 2 guns in each one, or, oh sorry, there's more? Yeah, 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 there is, There's these are the arrows, just to change pages, so there's more than 2 guns, my mistake, but um, here's guns I've picked out that we are going to test. So yep, you need to have um, the ammunition somewhere spaced in your inventory I have I'm gonna have this in my inventory and have the guns in the hotbar so let's uh, test this out here I have the what is this the mp40 and there we go that is the mp40 and what's cool about this is when you shoot the power actually lifts the gun so there we go. Um, let's move on to the MP44. There we go. So that's how that gun shoots. Let's move on to the um, pistol one. It's one shot. See if we can take out a full creeper. There we go. And last but not least, the bazooka. Um, I don't know if the bazooka is fully done, but the aiming and sights and stuff is not good. So here it is. You see, I had that aimed right up at him. Let's see again. See, it went right over his head. But it does make a nice damage. Oh, there we go. So, yes. Those are the... Some of the guns. Uh, just one other gun I would like to show you. That I forgot to put out. Hmm. Yep, let's just use this. This is one of the snipers. It acts like the... The, what do you call it? The binoculars. So you just right click and it zooms in. 
There we go. Killed him. And you just right click again to zoom back out. So yep, there's that. So um that's the two things to do. Um so that's closing weapons. Just before we move on, I just want to say that with the weapons it also will give you these here. These are like turrets. So there. They're like turrets. Just before we move on. Let me just sleep in a bed. So we can see better. Because um, the commands don't really work well for me. So there we go. There we go. See? Boom. Right. So, yep. These are the two turrets. And they have their own ammunition. I don't know which ones these are for. But you just right click to get into them. And left click to shoot. And again, these aren't terribly hit. There you go, you seen that? Doesn't make a bomb, it just shoots at them. See if I can hit that creeper. There you go. And that's that one. This one a little bit harder to see for. That's it loaded. There we go. Better in it. Okay, so that is the gun section of this mod. Now for my favorite part of the section, the vehicles. These are the vehicles, but you seen the planes like I had set up here? There's only uh, one, two, three, four, five planes set up. But if you look in the inventory, there is more than five planes. The reason I only have five is because the rest of the planes do not work for me. It might work for you, but anytime I go to put them down, it freezes and crashes my Minecraft. But all I have to do is reopen it and it works again. So certain mall or certain uh, vehicles don't not don't work for me just the planes like the uh, wooden ones the wooden planes stuff like that but um no one really wants to fly a wooden plane so we're all good so uh yep let's just run over to what this gives us wait okay right um we get uh this here plane this one this one this one and this is the biggest one i will show you them in a minute and we get two cars two jeeps and two tanks as well and uh, this is just some of the parts it's just some random parts like the wing the propeller and the engines and what's cool about this is that when you went into the planes you would normally have to um, store coal in it the mod got updated and now you have to actually put coal in it but on uh, creative it's a limited coal or a limited fuel sorry so yep that is this uh those are the ones that i'm going to show you now but just before i move on these are the blocks that gives you with the uh, planes and vehicles section this is the crafting blocks used to craft these such as this is the block that you use to craft the uh, tanks with you can see you can craft the certain bits and then place them and it will come out here and um, here is what you would use to build the large plane you would place certain bits here to craft the large plane and this is the small planes such as some of the ones over here so um instead of me mumbling and showing you the crafting let's actually get into it so these are the jeeps and the two tanks this is the two jeeps let me sprint around here those are the tanks let's have a little quick thing um Getting under the vehicle isn't that easy for me, so um, let me just head into options. Controls to get into my inventory. I actually have. I uh, that that will do. Okay, sorry about that because um, I had my inventory accessed with E, but um. To get out of the car, it's easy, so it really muddles up. So to make this mod view easier, let's have this. Okay, so um, what you do is you right-click to get into the car seat. 
and you hit W, and there you go. I'll go into the third person mode, so you can see me. Now, the cars don't pick up too much speed, so they don't. But um, when you crash or go over potholes, like um, little dents in the thing, tips the car like that. And if I go into third person mode, you can see the car is actually lifting off because it went into a pothole. So yeah, and that's that one. Um, basically, this one goes the same, but um, I don't know which one goes faster. I think um, that was only me going round in a half of a circle, 180 degrees. But uh, once you start going in a straight line around the map, it should, well, it does start to pick up speed. So um, I'll just show you me in one of the tanks. S same thing, you right click. Um, you only have one window. And if you hit R, you can access... Oh, it's not working for me. Mm, that's pretty strange. Let me try this again. Yeah, there we go. If you hit R, you can store guns in here. You can store... Well, you need to have fuel. You slip the fuel in here, and this will go up to the top. And then we'll start to slowly sink down once you use it. You put the shells for the bullets, like the ammunition, and you can also carry cargo such as like clothes, ammunition, all that sort of stuff. So yes, that's how you do that. Um, simply just hit W to activate it. Um, all you have to do is hit W once, and you use the uh, um, A and D to go sidewards, and it will go forward for you. It doesn't stop until you get out of it. So yep, the t other tank is pretty much the same. So it is, see? Other tank's the same, but let's get to the fun part. So um, these are the planes that work for me. Otherwise they wouldn't be sitting and spawned. So uh, they're pretty nice, good detail planes. Uh, this is the quad one, quad ring, double wings this is another one like that with an extra layer of wings it's pretty fun to fly this is one of my favorite small ones to fly <laughs> and then this is just amazing this one um sorry it's a bit derpy it's because um something's wrong with my mouse and when i plant one block two actually comes so it, it spawned two in and it's glitched and derpy but uh don't worry it'll get out of the way so um, I'll just show you me flying this here one, and then I'll show you to end the video me flying that one. So right click to get into it. W to activate it. Oh, ran the wrong way. <laughs> whoa, whoa, derpy. Okay, so the controls is space to go up. Uh, like space to start lift your vehicle up, but you can't lift it until you get a nice runway. S and D or A and D to go sideways, it, just like you were walking, and shift to dip yourself down. Let's see if we can actually lift off the ground now. Come on here. And the cool thing about this is that if you crash, you will rip your wings off, and if you have a really hard crash, then it, it will explode and the pieces for the uh, vehicle will go everywhere. For some reason this one isn't lifting off the ground. I'm not too sure why that's not hap not working. Let me try one of these other ones. Maybe this one. If you are going to fly this, I would probably recommend flying it on the uh, third person mode because it's not that cool flying it normal mode there we go so got it lifted off the ground so I have like I said it's D to move to the right A to move to the left space to move up and you can see the back bit going up and shift to dip down and lower your vehicle and if you look at this uh, let me just lower and crash down a bit it will start to delete the ground, see, and set fire. My wing's still on. It does start to wreck the ground, 
you can fly straight up in the air and then just dip straight down and you can also bomb NPCs and other stuff you can just set up targets and bomb it you see this is me just showing you crashing and now smoke starting to come off my plane is because that I've been showing you me crashing showing you that it actually does delete my plane will start to smoke and will eventually break down and um, if you crash it too much the plane will actually um, catch fire the fire from the mob spawners that is what the fire is so yay there we go the plane crashed now, before we end this video I know it's pretty long but um yeah let's fly this one I know we've all been waiting for this one the cool thing about this is that they are bringing this into multiplayer soon in the update uh, but there is a two-seater in this, in this big plane. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, right. I know you can't really see it start off because it's derpy. I'm lifting off pretty quick. But it's the same with these. You can hit R and access the bombs, cargo. Whoa. Derped out there. Sorry, but yep, it's the same. You can access the cargo and all the other stuff. But yeah. Oh, I've derped and glitched out. It always glitches when I play offline mode, which I'm playing now. So, um, yeah. That was the Flans Planes mod. You should go and get this mod, but um, this will take a bit and it will take up a bit of storage as well because um, this is a big mod. So it is. And you need to install a whole bunch of stuff. So yes, that is the Flans mod uh, review. So thank you for watching. And if you want me to review any other mod, just leave a comment down below and I will review your mod and give you a shout out. Thank you and goodbye.